Hi, my name's Sarah, I work for Avery UK and I'm going to talk to you about our design and print online software which is free to use uh, to help you create your Avery labels and cards. Um, today I'm going to show you how to use the sequential number tool. We're going to make some tickets uh, and each ticket has got a different number on it so that when you have them out you know which ones have been sold. If we open up this Fresh Ideas event ticket that I've just knocked together, we can start. Okay, so I'm going to highlight the hashtag here because I want to use that colour font and it just automatically adds it there. So uh, my prefix, I'm going to put ticket number. So I want ticket number to be on every single label, but then on my range, I'm going to put my start value at 24 and uh, end value at 36. So I'm going to have that many tickets. Add the sequential numbers. Now if I look on my navigator tool here, I can see that each card on that sheet has a different ticket number. So this is also useful for things like batch coding or if you make honey or something like that that you want to sell and you want to keep an idea of your bin number when you're selling something, you can also do this for that. So let's, um, let's do some wine labels just to show you another example here. Uh, some wine here and I'm going to start with the start value that's a bin number 189 and my end value of 201 and I'm going to say batch on the prefix and on my suffix I'm going to say the date of 2013. Click add sequential numbers and now when I check through I've got different numbers for each of the labels that I can sort of uh, have a traceability. There are lots of different features of design and print from mail merge to barcode generation to just general printing tips and we've got tutorials for all of these features. They are all available on our Avery UK YouTube channel so go check them out. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching.